Hi guys, bonjour les amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. You see it, twice baked potato. And I've got some big potatoes that I got at Sam's Club. Everything's big there, their onions are huge, potatoes, I don't know where they get their produce, I should look at that, yeah. I can't grow potatoes for the life of me. I've picked so many potatoes in my life, I don't want to plant them, okay? Anyways, uh, twice baked potato, and I've got some cheese curds that I'm going to use in that instead of just shredded cheese. I'm going to see how I think it's going to. I think cheese curds will melt a little easier in the air fryer because when you put cheese inside of something, the cheese just oozes out. So I think cheese curds is going to be a good trick. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. Okay, so I've got a russet sized potato here. It's so good for a baked potato. I've got some Tsang stir fry oil in my Evo sprayer. This comes in a package of two, the bottles do, on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link to that. And also the uh, Tsang stir fry oil. It's infused with garlic and herbs. It's so good on a potato. So I'm going to spray my potato with that. Okay. And some salt. Uh, I'm using sea salt. All right, so I'm going to do the second potato, and I'll change the angle to the air fryer. It could have easily uh, fit four in there, but it's just Tom and I, so. We're going to go full blast on everything, the bottom on and the top one at number four. And I'll let you know how long. Don't be poking holes in no potato. It's good just like that, so I'll be back. All right, let's check it out. 40 minutes. Oh, it still needs some work. So it looks like we're gonna have to leave it in there for an hour. Pretty big potato, so it all depends on the size of your potato. So I'm gonna check it again, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna say for safe reasons, an hour would be good. We'll be back. If you hear something in the background, I'm canning some tomato sauce, or pasta sauce, I should say. All right, so while they were cooling, I had a couple slices of bacon in the fridge that I fried up in the air fryer, just like that. I'm gonna leave the grease in there and everything. So. I'm just going to scoop them out and put them aside. That bacon grease is good. So I'm going to use this as like a, a topping per se. I'm just going to leave it at, at little pieces like that. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we're going to scoop this uh, stuff out of there. Let me see if I can... Yep, okay. So go on the edge of the potato. The peel and everything. I don't know about you, but I love the peel. Let me cut the skin off just a little bit there. Get your bowl and just scoop the innards out, okay? Still hot, so that's good because I gotta put butter in there. So let me scoop this out and I'll show you what, what to do that. Here's where the fun begins. So mash the potato up as best you can. Put that peel apart so it's in there. You can use a fork if it's easier for you. Now I'm gonna put my butter in there while that potato is hot. I've got two tablespoons of butter, okay? So if you're uh, using, you can melt your butter so it's easier. I'm just gonna let the potato melt that butter. You don't wanna see all that, so I'm gonna mix this up and we'll go to the next step. So we're gonna do like a mashed potato filling thing. I got my own uh, dehydrated onion powder here, or granulated onion. I'm going to put like half a tablespoon of that in there. It's so lovely. Smell it. Oh! If you haven't dehydrated your own onion powder, oh my lord. Okay, what else did I want to put? Okay, salt. I'm going to use this mixed peppercorn salt right here. Uh, you can use just salt and pepper. Oh, this is just pepper. I'm just saying. Salt is, I got salt on the outside of the potato and uh, the bacon salty as well. So I'm just gonna put this, this kind of pepper in there. And that's up to you. Also my butter is unsalted too, so. You know, I, I don't want too much salt in my stuff. That's just me. All right, so I'm gonna put an egg in there. And some half and half milk. Um, let me see. Probably a fourth of a cup. All right, so let me mix that up and uh, show you the next step. All right, kind of looks like mashed potatoes. This would be good to eat right now, but we're not done. Watch this. I found some cheese curds. 
from Tro Troyer. Troyer. Rich in tradition, rich in taste. Garlic and did dill cheddar curds. You got it. We're going to put some of those in there. So we're going to have like a, a nice, cheesy... Some of these curds are way too big. Ooh, that smells so good! God, I smell garlic more than anything. Right throughout the potato filling, we're going to have some cheese bites. Yeah, you can I hear an amen? Sorry, I live in the south. So, oh look at that! Look at the shoo! It's beautiful. I know I could do poutine with this, but I had this in mind, which is kind of like a poutine but in a baked potato format. All right, so that should be good. I found that at uh, like our by the road, uh, like Amish. Mm, they had Amish sausage and stuff in there. So I was like, oh, let me check this out. And they had curds out the yin-yang in there. I was so happy. Oh, okay. You guessed it. I'm going to shove that back in the old potato. What is there not to love about this? I need another spoon. Hang on. Be right back. Okay, just to show you there's an easier way to do this. Like that. Get all up inside that spud. Okay, I, I'm from two blinks away from the state of Maine border. I've picked many potatoes in my life. I know you guys want to hear about that, right? <laughs> my friends are so tired of hearing that story. But I did. I picked potatoes. Wicker basket. A wood barrel. 45 cents a barrel. I sure did. Look it up. So I'm going to have extra filling here, but that's okay. I can make like a potato cakes, potato patties in the air fryer. Actually, I don't have a whole lot. I'm just going to shove it all in there. That's what she's going to do. All right. See? Use it all. So I'm going to cook this a little bit in the air fryer. We're not going to put this till the end. So hang tight. Maybe I'll put some more cheese on there. I don't know. Stay tuned. We'll check it out though. Okay. Where's my tongs? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to use my hands. A lot less stressful. It's not that hot. So is that beautiful? All right. So it's all cooked. Okay. We're just going to cook it on low. Uh, the bottom's going to be on. Then let's do the, the top to uh, two and a half. All right, I'll let you know how long I do that. So I did that for about 15 minutes. Cheese is melted. Yes. So I'm just going to put this uh, bacon on top. And let it reheat. I'm going to do that for about two minutes. And we are going to call it a day. What do y'all think? Huh? Dad, that's a big, to twice big potato. So, I'm going to turn the bottom off. Number one, just to reheat about five minutes and then we'll taste. Alright, perfect timing. Tom just got home from work. Go ahead and give it a shot, babe. Okay. Put it right down the middle. Come on. Guess what? Turn it this way. Yeah, you always turn. Ooh, look at that, don't it? Hang on, let me zoom in on that. Look at that. I gotta take a picture. I'll be right back. What'd you say, Tom? I said, isn't that beautiful? What'd you say? It's gonna be a more beautiful in my belly. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <gasps> oh, you gotta get some of that cheese now. Okay. Oh, you got some? No. But I'll take some of this that's running off there. Oh, How's that? else in your mouth before you comment you just like a clean area I want to get the whole effect okay go ahead all right pretty good is it good tastes like a baked potato with cheese yeah yeah <laughs> but it's cooked good though right yeah very good 
All right. Well, there Look you at go. This. Is the cheese good? Is this uh, yeah. garlic and dill? Yeah, the cheese is good. Can you taste dill? I was wondering what that taste was, but yeah, now that I understand it's dill. Is it, does it work well together? I think they combine Yeah, it's not bad. kind of makes it taste like peaches. Tastes like peaches? I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> You're so weird. It was weird. All right. Let's see if you use any kind of cheese curds. Put some cheese curds in your mashed potato. You know? Is that what this is? Cheese curd? Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, there you go again.